Hey everybody, this video brings me and Chris out to Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Not sure if I've ever actually been to Carlisle, Pennsylvania before, but we're here now. And the reason why we're here is for the Toys for the Ages Expo, something I know I definitely have never been to before. Have you been to this? No, before? I've been no? trying to come to this show for many years. Today's the day. <laughs> Today's the day you're here. So, all right, we're gonna find some, some Muppets, right? Oh, a corporate. Well, Power of positivity. We're gonna find some Muppets. We always freaking find Muppets. So we're gonna find some Muppets for, for Chris. I'm hoping to maybe find some, I'm hoping for Figment. Figment would be nice. Maybe some, I told my son I looked for some Pokemon cards for him. So maybe some Pokemon cards and I'm hoping movies. If I could find some, some DVDs and some Blu-rays, I'll be a happy camper. So again, we're here at the Toys for the Ages Expo in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Either way, we're, we're at least gonna find some Muppet stuff. Before we actually go inside though, I want to show you what's outside. Look at this. There's a General Lee here. Check that out. That is pretty awesome. Looks like it's actually signed by um, some of the cast of Dukes of Hazard. That is so cool. I'd be willing to bet this has the the um, the horn, the dent 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 dent. It's it's got it, right? Come come on. This is awesome. This is so cool. All right, we got our pink um, our pink wristband. Ooh, so we're we're, we're Barbie sized. We're oh, oh is that what is that what's for? Sure, is it for Barbie? Sure, why not? Why not? <laughs> so anyway, we got our wrist pink our, our, our wrist pink bands. Dyslexia starts already. Our pink wristbands, and um, we're here. Look at this. This place is huge. I mean, I was told this place was pretty big. There are all kinds of, I mean, obviously toy vendors here and whatnot, all kinds of stuff to look through. I'm surprised Chris hasn't already gone, oh wait, M Muppets. Well, I mean, Kevin Hunt is a Muppet. And there's Al, I mean, he's kind of a Muppet too. Just like that, I guess we found and Muppets. There's, and there's some piece of stuff that's- and, and, and we have found Muppets already. And already I'm finding movies, which is, um, I'm gonna say a sign of positivity or a, I don't know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take it as a good sign. Here's the Halloween limited edition VHS release. This is actually really, really cool. I used to have this in my collection, look at that. I believe that, yeah, the, the tapes are actually orange. That is so awesome. Again, I used to have this in my collection at one point, but I ended up getting rid of it because I don't really need it. I have the same exact cut on, on DVD or on Blu-ray or on, on something now. So it was just a little collector's piece, but I don't really do collector's pieces anymore. Do you want it? No. No? But it's it's like a, it's like Bible-esque, man. It's like, this is like hardcore. I mean, Halloween is the Bible, right? Maybe? The exorcist was the Bible. No, you, you use the Bible against the exorcist. Oh, 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 that's it. You're gonna get it all wrong. The, the, the power of Halloween compels you. The power of the Halloween the power, compels you. The power of John Carpenter compels, compels you. Okay, so obviously when it comes to Home Alone 2, I knew the talk boy was a thing. This was a, a toy that was, um, was highly advertised in Home Alone 2, but it was a toy, I believe, before the actual movie. What I didn't know was actually a thing. What I didn't know they actually made also from Home Alone 2 is Monster Sap. Look at that. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. That's the... Um, the slime he buys, he puts on the, the railing of the, the ladder and it was a Marv or Harry, whoever grabs onto it and flies out backwards. I didn't know it was actually a legitimate thing. I wonder, was I, I'm guessing that was not before Home Alone 2. That would have been after Home Alone 2, but I had no idea they actually made that product. I kind of want some, but I also want to know, why do they call it Monster Sap when clearly it's, it's Monster Spit? Snot? Or Spit or it look, Snot? It looks like Snap. S snap? Snap? It looks like Sap. It's very early. It looks like Sap. But it's snot. That's what I was gonna say. So oh my it's gosh! It's not sap. It's snot sap. Is what you're saying. And I, snot, I snot already, sap. I already ruined the joke. You didn't have to ruin it further. I'm just burying it. Yeah. It's not burying it. There's a whole lot of video games here, including Wii systems, which is pretty awesome. I don't actually see any Wii games. I think my son needs, so I'm gonna pass on those. There's a um, an N64, which I, which I already, it's fine. I already found an N64 for nine ninety nine. Did you see that video? You didn't see the video? I don't watch these videos. Ten dollars. I picked up. Ten dollars. I picked up an N sixty four plus um, the four games, and I mean like, good games to go along with it too, which was pretty awesome. So I'm gonna pass with one hundred and seventy five dollars and the one hundred and twenty dollar one. And they also had a whole bunch of Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games. Of course, I already have all of those. Don't actually need any of them. And they have some Switch mm -hmm. games I here. Mean, come on, don't you have Track Me? I mean, I don't have a, I don't have an NES, so I'm gonna have to pass on that. What? This is cool though. Mega Man eleven for twenty five bucks for the for the Switch. That is awesome. I don't know. I'm probably just gonna end up passing on these. Oh my gosh, look at that though. They've got Super Mario Sunshine. My son technically doesn't need this. He has it in the, um, what is it? That that Mario collection for the for the Switch, whatever it's called, the All-Star collection. I think it's called All-Star 3D collection. I think is what it is. So he doesn't really need it, but I don't know. I'm gonna, uh, it's, it's tempting, but I'm gonna pass on that. I already got myself a GameCube. I don't need that. So video games, cool, awesome, but nothing I 
I need, especially, you know, when I, I've already found a N64 for $9.99. And if you didn't know, you need to watch that video. You should. Well, at least I am finding movies. It's just nothing I need. Here's the um, Cartoon Network Holiday Collection. I already have it. SpongeBob SquarePants Christmas. I already have it. And um, that's a DS game. I don't, I don't need that. So, I mean, I'm finding some movies, just not movies I need or movies that are just way overpriced. Again, movies, but um, movies I don't need. Transformers, The Return of Optimus Prime. That's awesome. That is actually really, really cool. But um, I, I have it. I don't, I don't actually need that. But check this out. The Play-Doh Make a Meal. Do they even... Do they still do things like that? Do they even make a wheel anymore? Do, do, do they even Play-Doh anymore, bro? Yo, bro. Bro, do you even... Duh. Duh, duh. Do you even Play-Doh? This is why I don't... Duh. This is why I don't throw Chris, Chris anymore. So... Do they even do this anymore? I, I question it because I, I just have a feeling like kids would start eating the Play-Doh. Wait, wait, we, you, you don't eat it? We just live, well, I'm, back then I'm sure kids did all the oh, time, but oh, okay. we just live in a world now where like, I'm sure some parent was like, my child ate the pizza. So then like Play-Doh was like, well, we're not gonna make that thing anymore. We're only gonna stick to stuff that's not food related. Comment down below, do they still make food related Play-Doh things, play, play sets? If they do, I wanna, I wanna know. I mean, the ice cream was so good. It was delicious. Here we go, a whole bunch more Wii games and some really interesting things like Donkey Kong Country Returns and some Mario Kart, Mario Strikers, which is pretty awesome, um, some Pokemon as well. Definitely some cool Wii games in here. In fact, so cool that I'm picking up two of them. I'm grabbing Epic Mickey 2 for only $5. I do have the uh, Epic Mickey 1 for the Wii, but I don't have Epic Mickey 2, so I am picking that up. My son's going to love that. And then this is a game that I've actually wanted to play for some time now, but I know my son's a big fan of Donkey Kong as well. They were asking 15 for Donkey Kong Country Returns, but said they would just do 10 on it. So um, I'm definitely picking this up. That is awesome. And then I found a whole bunch of Pokemon cards down here, again, for my son. I'm grabbing him um, this one little pack right here because I don't know whatever this um, Darmantina, I, I have no idea how you pronounce these Pokemon names, but just for some reason, that character, I don't know, it stuck out to me. Kind of looks almost like a, like a Mario character in a weird sort of way. So I thought my son's gonna love this. This is the pack I'm grabbing him. Tempted to grab him some more, but for right now, just gonna grab him this one. And then to make it an even $20, he threw in this little uh, Pokemon like coin thing here. My son has one of these. He does not have this one. So um, all right, for $20 total, picking up some stuff for my son. He's gonna be very, very happy. Now if I could just find some things for me, although, I mean, I do kind of want to play Epic Mickey and Donkey Kong Country Returns for, for myself. So I, I guess these are, or for my son, but also kind of sort of also for me. So Chris found some more VHS tapes over here. Some interesting things, but um, what's what's most interesting is is this. I've never seen this before. The Smallville Special Edition seasons one through eight, like carrying case thing. That is that's interesting. I don't know. I I have never heard of this region one and three. I think I'm pretty sure it's a bootleg. Is that legit? If that's a bootleg, that's a very, sure very right. well done bootleg. I don't know. I have I mean, never... It's just like when you're, if you're flying Wizard Wind, you can carry it with you. Like, you just make sure you're always up, up, and away on your Superman and your small girl. I'm trying to figure this one out. I mean, it's, it's pretty hefty, so that's what I have to handle to it. It's just kind of bizarre. I've never seen that before. If you have, leave a comment down below. Let us know if it's a bootleg or not. I love thrifting with Chris. Wow, this is a whole heck of a lot of anime over here, and um, a lot of this I actually do need. Some of it I have, but some of it I need. What I'm looking at the most are these, though, volumes two and three of Venus vs. Virus. I don't think I have these. I, I have volume one. According to my lists, I have volume one, but I don't have two and three, and I think this completes the series. Again, if I'm not mistaken, I, I could be wrong about that. They want $5 a piece for these, which honestly isn't bad if I do need these to complete my by series, but um, I had this, just, I don't know, this voice in the back of my head that's telling me, you already have them, or you have at least one of these or something. I don't, I don't know. Again, my list tell me I don't, but my lists are not always correct. So should I buy these? <sighs> yeah, I guess. So when it comes to Pokemon cards, I'm trying to be good for my, well, good for my, my own wallet, I should say, because, um, I don't want to go too crazy buying Pokemon cards because I'm always picking up Pokemon cards for Sean. And then tomorrow we're going to go out thrifting and he's going to find more Pokemon cards he wants tomorrow. And since he's with me, he's going to pick up a whole bunch of them. So I'm trying to be selective as to what I, what I pick up. And uh, they, they got more, they got more Pokemon cards here. And I was, I don't know, I was going to, I was going to pass on these. And then I saw this, this one right here has a Mew right out front. And my son has been begging. If you find a Mew, pick it up for me. He wants nothing more than to have a Mew for his collection, and they have one here. So 
I'm gonna grab this as well for, for a total of, of 12 bucks. Not bad. So what's Chris finding over here? What is that? A finger puppet. <laughs> a oh, wow. Muppet Christmas Carol. Yeah. Finger puppet. These were released. Is that is that Kermit or is that like Tiny Tim? Well, technically, this is neither. Technically, this is Bob Cratchit or Kermit oh, okay, as okay, Bob Okay, okay, all right. So, I mean, you're going to get into the weeds about it. But these were released <laughs> as... Um, I'm sorry, is it is it Kermit or is it Robin, right? Is that his name, Robin? It's Kermit. The, the, but the little frog's name is Robin. Like, Correct. The, That's not what this is. Anyway, all right. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to sound smart, okay? Jeez. So what do you do? You, Failing you, miserably. You, you buying it? Uh, yes, I got this. This was released as you know, as uh, Hardy's Happy Meal oh. with a whole set. So I had one of these still mint in the bag, but it's kind of hard to see him because he's because the bag and the packaging, blah, blah, blah. So, so I'm going to get one this one that you can actually see a little more of the uh, Kermit peeking through. You can actually see the Kermit, not the Robin. Nope. Not the, nope. not the, not the so Gil, Phil, or Bill, or whatever. No, but no, Kermit. nobody wants to see your Kermit, Chris. Nope, nobody. Again, finding more DVDs. Here's the um, the Simpsons DVD lot for seventy five dollars. Honestly, if I didn't have these, that would not be a bad price at all. But I do have them, so I'm gonna pass on that. And I technically already have Voltron, the complete series, but I don't have them in these nice tins. I used to, and then I replaced them with this box set, which is which is cool. Takes up a lot less space, but. I kind of miss the uh, the amazing tins. I don't know. I'm gonna pass on those for uh, for fifty dollars. And then they also have Back to the Future on CED capacitance electronic disc for for sixty dollars. That is awesome. The artwork to that is amazing. And oh my gosh, Jaws two on what is this Super Eight or just eight millimeter? No, Super Eight and Animal House on Super Eight as well. That is awesome. There is some cool stuff here. I've never been so happy that I don't buy things for collecting purposes anymore because. There was uh, the Super 8s and the, the CED. Tempting. I think you should go back to collecting uh, I see what you did there. But no. I swear, I'm going to find more movies I actually need to pick up. Things I don't already have. But um, they got some He-Man here, which is pretty awesome. I already have them. Trigun already have that as well. Although, do I have, what is this? Trigun Batlands Rumble. Oh, it's a film. You know what? That I don't have. Oh, but it's um, apparently, wait. Oh, it's a complete it's a complete set for $80. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna pass on that. And they also have a whole bunch of VHS tapes here, but I wanna say most of this I have or the things I don't have, I'm just not really familiar with. Like what's some what's the being? It looks pretty awesome. I don't know, $15 for this? I've I've never heard of that. I feel like I should have. Leave comments down below. What out of here should I be picking up? Again, I already have a lot of this, but some of it I I don't. Why well, are you tapping me on well, the I'll give you a hand and have you look down below. Ah, no, 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 not that mo not that motion, no. No, no. If I ever come across these old LJ and WWF figures for a good price, I'm definitely picking some of these up for uh, for displaying purposes on a shelf. But I don't know, I, I can't be doing like $25 and $20 for, for just things that are going to collect dust on a, on a shelf. But I'm loving these. These are awesome. There's Macho Man, there's Hulk Hogan. Oh my gosh, there's Captain Lou Albano for, you see... $20 for Captain Lou, though, is kind of tempting. I mean, it's it's Mario right here. That is awesome. That is so cool. I got to be good, though. I can't I can't be dropping $20 on an LJN WWF figure. But if I if I was to do that, it, it'd be on Captain Lou. So once again, I'm either about to be like, oh, wow, good find, or I'm about to be very, very angry because Chris just goes, I found something. Start filming. So, all right, what did... What did you find well, here I in the book? Yeah, Color that's, Zelda okay, thing. Okay, that, that's cool. And the uh, Rubik's Cube solutions and the Transformers. Okay. Ooh, GoBots. Go nice. And some more Transformers. You just passed the best thing, GoBots. The theme for me, too. And, uh, All 45. right, and Alf, and Alf. And more Transformers and Dukes of Hazzard and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and uh, when, all this stuff. When, when are we getting to the good thing here? It's coming. Because hot dogs. Oh, hey, hey. all right. That's cool. There are some other babies. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Good find. Watch this. When you open it up, when you open it up, Muppet Mania is a whole thing about Jim Henson and even Cool and I. A picture from Little Muppet oh. Monsters. Do you, do you have that? I do not. Oh. So, I mean, this alone is is a killer because that, that they aired like two, maybe three episodes of this before they cancel it. I mean, the fact that you're finding Muppets you don't have. Five dollars, hot dog. Yeah. I'm grabbing this. Pick it, pick it up, hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Come inside, it's. Fun inside. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Sure. Hot dog, hot dog. I think there's more words to that song. Isn't there? I don't remember. So just about five minutes ago, Chris was over there telling some people that, um, no, I got to be good. 
I gotta reel back my collecting. I have too many different collections. I gotta focus on very individual things. Is one of those very individual things shirt tails? Yeah, that's what no. that's what I was thinking because he's over here freaking out over this shirt tails. Like, what's this? A toy box? It's a, it's a bench. And yeah, toy that's box awesome. He's like, thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask how much they're 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 they're, gonna, they're asking for it. So, I mean, he just said he needs to reel it in, stop collecting so many different things. And now he's tempted to pick up a a toy a toy box. I need a bin for my toys, so maybe that's a, a, and a bench, and it acts as a bench, so it's it's furniture for your house. The only, so, I mean, the only bin you're in need of is a loony bin. Yeah. I'm telling myself I gotta be good and not buy so many Pokemon cards for uh, my son, but I think I'm just about to complete his entire collection right now because I found these, these tins here. These tins are completely filled with Pokemon cards. I thought, okay, I'm gonna ask how much he wants for these. He's gonna say like, you know, 50 bucks a piece or something like that, which honestly would probably still be a pretty good deal. He says he's asking only $10 a piece for these, but if I bought both of them, $15. I, I, I can't pass on that deal. That, that's an insanely stupid deal. That, that's, that's crazy. With that though, I can't be buying any more Pokemon cards for my son this, um, this today. He's, he's gonna get some more tomorrow probably, but um, all right, for 15 bucks, I'm, I'm buying those. That's, that's insane. And I, I think I literally just completed my son's collection. This booth here has something actually pretty awesome that's kind of tempting. Some more um, WWF figures, including Hacksaw Jim Duggan. I mean, honestly, for $5, if he had his um, his famous uh, two by four, I would totally pick this up. But my guess is if he had his two by four, it would probably go for a heck of a lot, a heck of a lot more than, um, than $5, but that's, that's pretty. I wonder if they do five for Honky Tonk Man. Rap. He doesn't have his guitar, but I, I might do five for, for Honky Tonk Man with, with, or with or without the guitar. I can't even talk right now. It's freaking Honky Tonk Man. And just like that, the show gets good. What's BBG going on, everybody? has shown up. Greg is here from Imperial Collectible. So now, now it's officially a party. And party. this booth, because they were like, oh, you're, you're, you're giving us a shout out. Well, we'll hook you up as well. He just gave me Aww. the Honky Tonk Man. Oh, oh, oh. He just, just gave me the Honky Tonk Man. That is oh, awesome. That is amazing. And then Chris is over over there finding some awesome stuff. What did you find here? I this whole this whole uh, stack of stuff on the Sesame Street magazine. Okay. Another Sesame Street magazine. A Sesame Street magazine parents, parents guide. guide. Uh, and then this Muppet Babies wow. book, which I believe I only have in hardcover. Okay. So this is a soft cover. And this fairly rare wow, look at Miss that. Piggy Goldilocks book, which I did find recently, but it's in such great condition yeah. for like three bucks. I got, I, okay. I got all this for 10 bucks. Wow. So all right. couldn't pass it up. Sweet. So fairly I'm, rare stuff. I'm getting, a, tonk, right? I'm getting a honky tonk man. You're getting some Muppets and most of the. And we're all getting we're, some great. We're, we're, we're all getting some great. There's a lot of great to go around. I was gonna say, part of me is really happy that he's asking twenty dollars a piece for these because um, I'd be tempted to grab them. Although to be honest, if I don't have them, twenty bucks a piece, not not a bad deal. This guy has a whole bunch of Spice Girl dolls. Now I, I know I have the Scary, I know I have the uh, the Mel C, I know I have the Jerry, but I don't think I have this Victoria, and I don't think I have this Emma. I say I think because I have like a, a video I took of my collection, but it was from like two years ago, so I. I I gotta update that video. Get up to date, Thing, Dave. Things to do when I get home. I have to update that video because I, I may already spice, have these. Spice up your life. I know, Hello. I just, I, I can't do it. I can't do 20 bucks on something I might already have. These are in super minty condition though. I When, it, when I come across these, they're usually not this good looking. That is that is awesome. That is tempting. And and they also, I mean, they also even have your, your other true love. <laughs> your other true, true God. love. Jar Jar Bing, was this soap? Jar Jar Binks. Misa thinks you no, need these to are, be clean. These are band-aids. Oh, the Jar Jar, you were Jar, Jar Binks episode one band-aids. That's pretty awesome. I don't know. I, yeah, I'm gonna get home and find out I don't have those. Well, luckily we have people here that will be here all weekend. So BBG, maybe. BBG's gonna be here all weekend. I'll, I'll ask Greg to grab them for me if I don't have them. Cause yeah, I'm, I'm gonna want those. So Chris just found himself this um, animal figure here. You said that's from the Avalon paint by, not paint by number, but like it's like a paint it yourself. Paint, paint yourself with a like ceramic so figures. Yeah. It's not ceramic, though. it's like kind of like plasticky, but oh. well, maybe it's like ceramic, -y, but it's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's nicely painted, too. It's so. Ceramic. Ceramic. Plastic and ceramic. Ceramic. Animal agrees. <laughs> you threw you off there. And it was only one dollar. <laughs> one dollar? Make you holla, one dollar. Do you, so do you got, have that? I have it, of course, mint in the box. And I believe I have one painted, but. Uh, now you have two painted. Two. Because two painted. Because no paint your own Muppets is the same. 
right? Ooh. Mm, there, you, there you go. I've been wanting to get a standee for the library for a very, very long time now, and they have some really awesome ones here. We've got um, Michael Jackson, which is pretty amazing. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm guessing that's from the uh, the movie. That's really cool. There's a, um, a Star Wars one and Brave Star. The Brave Star one's the one that's really, really speaking to me, but I'm I'm still holding out. As much as I want one of these, I mean, I don't know, the, the Turtles one's pretty awesome. The Michael Jackson one's actually really cool as well. Star Wars, Star Wars is always cool, but I really want to get the Titanic standee. One of these days, I'm going to find the original vintage VHS Titanic standee. When I find that, I'll be very happy. Until then, I mean, unless they're like, you know, you can have these for like five bucks, I should, I should probably just keep walking. This is pretty awesome. So um, the Toys for the Ages actually has magnets and keychains and stickers and They've got pins as well. I gotta pick one of these up for my uh, my pin collection. I do I do get pins from everywhere I've been in. I mean, I've I've been to this convention, so I'm gonna need one of these pins. They're just the ones you get made by um, the Sticker Mule. I got these uh, made for for Retro Rest Stop as well. These are awesome. Yeah, for a buck, I'm I'm picking one of these up. I I swear I came here with a with a wallet full of money, and now my my wallet is pretty much empty at this point because I'm I'm just I'm finding so much cool stuff for for Sean and some cool things for me. And I'm, I'm now finding something I have to pick up for me, and that is a copy of Boxel 2 for the Game Boy. They're asking 20, so they would do 15 on it. I never come across this. The Boxel games are really fun. They're, they're, they're puzzle games. I have I have the first Boxel. It's a great game. I don't I don't have Boxel 2. This one's a little bit harder to find. I don't really know what it goes for. I'm thinking $15 is a, is a good good deal for this. I, I hope it is anyway. Again, I just never see this out in the wild. I've been looking for this for, for a long time now, so... All right, I'm, I'm, I'm dropping 15 on, on Boxel too. I, I know, I know, I know. So tomorrow, I'm gonna find this for $5 at the, at the flea market. I am so happy I don't collect toys. I mean, other than, you know, amazing Spice Girl dolls. These, these ones I, I already have, I don't, I don't need those, but there's just so much cool stuff. The G.I. Joes, the My Pet Monster still in its box, which is awesome. There's um, Crash Test Dummies. Look at this, a whole case full of nothing but factory sealed GoBots. Those I would definitely pick up. There's um, She-Ra there. There's a Talking Phoebe Herman in box. There is so much there's awesome. There's the Ewok playset. Sherwood I, I, mean, I mean, Sherwood Forest. <laughs> that was used like four different times for four different play sets. There's so much cool stuff here. Again, I'm, I'm happy I'm not you. And I, I, don't, I don't collect toys. I'm also glad I'm not like Chris and uh, collect Muppets because he's losing his mind right now. We just found a whole, look at this. This is all Muppet stuff. Over here, he's finding bed sheets and band aids and blockbuster puppets. This is, this is, my, this is and... my new bed sheet. This, this <laughs> is my new bed sheets for my room. Just remember that, ladies. Just I mean, remember you, that, ladies. You can shiver my timbers any day. Waka waka. Okay, this is so stupid that it's actually kind of amazing. This is the Super Soaker watch. Now, growing up in the uh, the eighties into the early nineties, Super Soakers were the coolest thing ever. I had multiple Super Soakers, but I never had the the Super Soaker watch. But what I love about this is the ridiculousness of this. It's not a, a watch that is secretly also a water gun, so you could say, hey, look at look at the time, and then squirt somebody. It's literally just a tiny little Super Soaker on top of a watch. Like, I, what, what was their thought process behind that? That is, um, no, that's, that's, that's ridiculous. So many more Pokemon cards here, but um, yeah, Sean is... Sean is good for, I'm thinking, um, at least today, because tomorrow we're gonna go out and do some thrifting. I'm sure he'll find some more Pokemon cards there, but I don't even know what was inside those tins. I mean, it, all, all this stuff could be inside those tins. I have, I have no idea. So yeah, I'm thinking no more Pokemon cards today. I mean, unless I find something I know he's really looking for, but otherwise, nah, he's, he's good. Again, for, for today. I know, I know. I literally just said I'm not gonna buy any more Pokemon cards for Sean, but this, this guy over here had Pokemon cards for, for five, five for a dollar, and they had some pretty cool ones. I got a Pikachu here and a, and a Mewtwo. I know Sean's looking for more Mewtwo's. I don't think he has that one. And they had some energy cards I know he needs. So again, they're, they're cards I know he wants, cards I know he needs. I mean, these cards are probably in those tins I just got him, but um, whatever. Five, five for a dollar on Pokemon cards. I, I'm, I'm an enabler. What can I say? Chris is over here completely freaking out right now because he just came across all these um, Play School 
Sesame Street cards, which are pretty awesome. And I, I, I know, I know you have some of these, right? Some of them. But this is the original shipping box. Oh wow! Well, new old stock. Some of them are unpunched. It's a whole oh, thing. Oh wow! So, but you don't. You were saying you don't know which ones you have, which ones you don't. These are heavy. They're die casts, oh, right? Yeah. You hurt somebody. They've got, they've got some weight to them. Oh yeah. So, but you were saying your your My spreadsheet, spreadsheet is isn't loading, loading, and you don't know which the, ones you have, which ones you don't have. The here is not working very well, or something. So. I'm just gonna figure it out. Okay. Use my my mental intellect and just I mean, guess. Make, make a deal for all of them, and then sell the ones you you already have. See, that's how you that's how you do it. The same guy that uh, Chris is over there trying to wheel and deal with for those uh, Play School Sesame Street cars. He, he's also got uh, Pokemon cards here. Sixty cards for only four dollars a piece. These are old, old Pokemon cards. I I have no idea what that means, but um, these are these are pretty awesome. <laughs> I, no, no, no. All right, so Chris ended up picking up every single one of those um, those cars. Do I do I want to ask what you paid in total? Uh, Eighteen uh, bucks. Yeah. Wait, what? Eighteen dollars. Uh, all right, I I, I would have bought it for eighteen dollars too. Okay. Uh, yeah. I honestly expected that price to be way high, like like way higher oh, than yeah, eighteen dollars. Two, two for five, That's and a, then it gave me a deal. It's a stupid good deal on those. That's it's insane. Or, um, New old stock. That, some were unpunched. That's crazy. And, and the box. That's that's and the, awesome. And, and of course, the original shipping yeah, box. Yeah, that's cool. And you also picked up. Look at this. An animal plush as well, which it's is pretty missing cool. Missing its tag. Yeah, something something's not there. But still, that's but, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And I don't have All this right. one. And this is from Namco. Oh. So Namco only releases these as like you know. They might be playing thing. Oh, crane, the crane game stuff. Nice. No. All right, no. cool. So you really couldn't buy these in stores all that easily. So I mean, that's pretty cool. That's find. cool. But but that yeah, that's a that was a stupid good deal. Again, so happy I don't collect toys because here's some amazing big and comfy couch plush. Those are awesome. I, I, I kind of want those. And they got a, a Popples suitcase here and a, and a Wuzzles suitcase. I don't know which one I like better, Popples or Wuzzles. I'm, I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to go with Wuzzles. That's pretty awesome. There's, there's a lot of really, really cool stuff here. Even the Polly Pocket stuff. I mean, it's, it's kind of neat. That's a, that's a throwback to my time. That is awesome. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Is that six? It is. What? Or should I say, whoa. So um, Chris, you're gonna be paying a little bit more than $18 for these, but I, I wanna show you something over uh, over here. <laughs> Look at these. The whole set. Holy crud. Yeah, if only they were still $7 a piece. Look at this. It's a whole entire Splash Mountain, like Song of the South so, plush Disney set. So guess what? $120, guess, which, yeah. So guess what? I'm only missing one of those. Let me, I, I, know which, I know which one. Oh, wait, which one? That one? Bra Brer Fox. Oh, I was going to say it was nope. the, uh, the, the crow. Nope, only Brer Fox. Or not the, the crow. What is, what is he? He's like a vulture, vulture. or whatever. Vulture. vulture, yeah. Vulture. You're missing Brer Fox? That's it. I had the whole set. Oh, these are so cool. And then and tag, too. I was going to say, cool. these are all tags. I don't tags. Mine yeah. tags. Wow. Like, some of them do, some of them don't. But did you also That's... know what's above it? What? What am I missing? Just keep going up Holy. I have it. I already have this. I, I almost missed that. Yeah. I know. I... $15 for that. Wow, that's cool. Again, I, I have it. I don't need it. At least I'm pretty sure I have this one. I don't need it. But it's a variant. It, 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 it's, pro it it's probably not. I, I probably have that one. But um, wow. yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say wow to that. How the, much is for this one? <laughs> it's, 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 it's $7. It, it, says, it says on there. It says, it's, no, it says, it says right, there, right, there, right there. $7. I, I miss when stuff at Disney was priced well. And I, I, I miss when they had Song of the South stuff. Instant childhood flashbacks at the same exact time for, for Chris and I. We saw these popoids. Who out there had popoids? These things were amazing. I used to have these. I remember my, my aunt used to have these at her house. We used to play with these all the time. Probably like, probably into my teens even. We were like, we would pop these out at my, we, we would you pop, pop them out? Pop the popoids out at my aunt's house and just play with these things. They were awesome. See, these weird, like, it's really. Like 15, 15 bucks. Well, it's not complete. It says, but these were so cool. So they were like these weird, like um. Can, can you make the noise? Yeah, no, they'd be like. Or I can't, I can't even do it. Yeah, because it, 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 it was it a pop. plastic thing, like and like a pop. <laughs> <laughs> I just was just trying to make as many different sound effects as we possibly can that are nowhere near the actual sound these things make. If you guys, if you guys know because what these each, are, you know the sound. Because each of these plastic things would like pop at the same time. They would. They'd all they'd all pop out, and you had all these like different things you could hook to. It. These were so cool. Wow, yeah, again, why I'm so happy I don't collect toys. So I just thought of one other standee that I would totally get to either go with my Titanic standee or to um, 
I don't know, just in place of the Titanic standee, and that would be a Jurassic Park standee with, uh, with Ellie. Unfortunately, this one has stupid dinosaurs on it. I still don't understand what dinosaurs have to do with Jurassic Park. It just makes no sense to me why Laura Dern's not plastered all over that. I mean, it's the, it's the Laura Dern movie. Right here. Right here. Wait, when I see this, see what I do. I go like this. I go like this. Is that, is that you taking off your glasses? Look at, oh, all right. Poor imitation. I am the poor of my, Laura Dern. I get that of my Laura Dern. Fair warning for the next um, couple of clips. They're giving out free Jolly Ranchers here. And I just took a watermelon one, so deal with it. I'm finding some more anime here, but um, unfortunately, it's a little bit out of my price range. Um, the $10 for the uh, the ran random mom. Uh, I saying that right? Probably not. And um, this is awesome. This I definitely wanted. This um, Misaki Chronicles. I'm probably saying that incorrectly as well, but I don't know. $40. I just I just can't do it. I've, again, I, I have so much anime at home. I have to watch yet. I can't be dropping like $40. I mean, it's probably a good price for that. Probably out of print. Probably hard to find. Probably goes for like $100 new, but... Again, I got so much anime I need to watch. I just, I just can't do it. What I can watch all day long is Chris over here. Film it. Look at that. Look at that. Behind the scenes of a, of a YouTuber. So Chris is over here digging through all these um, toys. What are you finding here? These are from yeah, all, all dogs, dogs go, go to heaven. heaven. That's cool. What, what was his name? Max, I think. <laughs> you, you don't even know what was her name. Penelope. I am not. I'm not. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember, I don't remember either, but to I do be remember honest. That these were Don, from... Don Bluth, I can tell you that. That's who made the movie. And they were uh, from Wendy's. Was was Dom DeLuise in that movie? He was. What, what did he do? The, the friend? Or he was him? No. He was her? No. No. But anyway. He, he was in it. I, somewhere. Anyway. You getting that? So, but these are like actual PVC figures. They're really cool. They, they, they had at Wendy's. Like, nowadays, oh, wow. you never get anything cool at this. Yeah, Wendy's. Wendy's is weird toys now. But like... A legit PVC figure. So, so for, what are they asking? Uh, two for five? Two for five dollars. You get those? And I have these in my collection, but I believe these are a better quality. Mintier. Mintier, because in I your... had this as a kid and I play with them. This one I found later, but I think this one's still minty. In so. your Don Blue collection? In my Don Blue collection. Again, the man who, Riddling when, we, when we walked in here, said, I gotta stop collecting for all these different collections. Well, this I gotta... is not new. This is a replacement. Mental. This is how you justify it. Whatever you need to tell yourself exactly. to, to help you sleep exactly. at night. Yeah. Exactly. So what's going on with Chris today? Finding the best deals. Well, wait, hold on. The, the Pokemon card tins were, were pretty amazing. But still, you as far as toys are concerned, you're finding the best deals. You just got all these for a total of $5? And you said you had some of them, right? Yeah, I have like Daddy Warbucks and maybe one other one. But this completes your set? I think it completes my wow, set. Wow, look, look at that. It's extremely close. There's three different Annie's. I never had any of the Annie's. So at least I think there's two Annie's there. Okay. Or there's two Annie's there. Now okay. Them. And uh, yeah, the dog. Wow. All right. All kinds cool. of crazy stuff. So five bucks. All right. Be sure to drink it's, your Ovaltine. A crummy commercial? A Son of a gun. It's a hard knock toy life. Boy. There you go. This has got to be the most Spice Girls I've seen at a convention at one time before. This is now what the third, fourth time I've come across some Spice Girls. There's a there's a Melanie C right there. Look at that sporty Spice. Pretty awesome. But um, I already have her in package. Don't need a don't need a loose one. I'm not I'm not I'm not crazy like that guy over there. I don't have to have a, a, a loose one and a and a sealed one and then 20 more sealed ones and then 20 more loose ones for no apparent reason whatsoever. He doesn't. He doesn't even know I'm talking about him right now. You have got to be kidding me. More, more Spice Girl dolls. This is a very spicing up your life video. This is the this most is... spicy toy show Woo! I've ever. This is a spicy I've ever toy I've show. ever been to. Look at this. There's a um, a Mel C down here. There's a Jerry. There's a there's an Emma. Now I I technically have all these, but this one's got a much better box than mine. My uh, my baby spice here. The the box is not minty, so that's that's better. But but, but she's loose in there. Though. She is, she is loose in there. I I don't know. I, I, I mean, it's, it's she wants twenty. You to spice it up. But it's twenty know. bucks. It was like five dollars or something like that. I would I would buy it for a better box. So for twenty, I just gotta walk away. No, no spice. Not my life today. When I was a kid, I thought this was one of the coolest things ever because I was really into collecting. Troll dolls, yeah. I what it, it was, it was the, the late 80s, early 90s. I was big into troll dolls. Troll dolls were very, very popular back then. Don't, don't make too much fun of me. And of course, I was into collecting Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I don't think anybody would make fun of me for, uh, for being into collecting those. But at, a, at, at one point in time, they made these turtle trolls. Look at that again. 
I wasn't joking when I said that troll dolls were extremely popular. Everything got the troll remake because, I, or the troll, the troll makeover because um, trolls were just really popular. So that's awesome. They actually made turtle trolls. God. Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted by the Lord once again, these are awesome. These are so cool. I would totally rebuy these. If I ever come across like an entire set of these for like a good price, I would, I would pick them up. I don't know what they're asking on, on just the individual one here. It, you know what? It is Donatello, my favorite turtle. I'm gonna find out what they want for this. So apparently I'm not the only one who thinks that the the troll dolls were really, really cool because uh, there was no price on it. They looked up to see what they go for on eBay and uh, they told me the price, $160. Yeah, $200 for that troll doll, the uh, the turtle troll doll. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pass. Oh, dilemma, dilemma, dilemma. What is Chris going to do? He just found these amazing Brer Rabbit and Brer Fox. Um, what are these, like ceramic. Uh, like ceramic figures? Yeah, these are awesome. 55 apiece, they said they would do 100 total, but here's, here's the catch. You already have the Brer Bear to go along with that, meaning that that right there completes your set. And they're they're pretty rare. A hundred dollars for this is probably a good deal. What what you gonna do? What? Stay tuned. What what you gonna do? To be continued in the next video. No, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll tell you soon. But right now, I don't even know. <laughs> he's got he's got no idea what he's doing. No idea. No idea. No idea. So while Chris is over there trying to decide as to whether or not he wants those amazing um, Song of the South Splash Mountain figures, those are pretty cool. I'm seeing something I'm gonna pick up for. Of course, not me picking up for Danielle. She, again, she's she's big into her raccoons, and um, they've got a rocket here that I know she doesn't have. Rocket Raccoon is her favorite. Well, Rocket and Miko are her two favorite raccoon characters. So this is pretty awesome. I don't necessarily get the the translu translucent arms though. What's what's that about? Did did he ever do that in the movies? Is it in the third movie? I haven't seen the third movie. I I don't know. Still looks look at that looks pretty awesome with the the sunlight coming through it. Anyway, she doesn't have this. It's a buck. I'm buying this for her. Oh my gosh, is this happening? We just got down to the end of the row. We saw what was down there. And Chris says, we, we've got to go back. We, we've got to go back. To the Song of the South. You, you getting them? I think so. Chris spending the big bucks a day. But honestly, that was an amazing deal for those. $100, $100 might sound like a lot to you guys, but I, I assure you that um, $100 for those is a stupid good deal. Yeah, I looked online and they're going from anywhere from 50, 60, even 70, 120 a piece. Yeah, so so, so good deal and you completed your set, so, so never which is pretty amazing. Again. Never to buy them again. Those are awesome finds. And because the guy was super nice, he said, well, since you're buying these, you can pick out one free $1 item. So what did you grab? You grabbed- uh, oh, what, what was my toy the again? Ca the oh, capybara yeah. from, from Encanto. Is, this what, is that what this thing is? It's, it's, a, ca it's like a, a capybara, right? It looks like a- um, No, it's a capybara. I don't know. Common down below. That, of, uh, that's a capybara. From, from Australia that, uh, that, I don't even know what it's called now. It's a capybara. Leave a comment down below. That's a capybara. And I grabbed this. Um, a wombat. I'm thinking of a wombat. Sorry, I just clicked in my head. Wombat. It's a capybara. Anyway, and I picked up this um, vinyl nation figure because it's a vinyl nation figure. That's awesome. So very cool. Very neat. But we're just about done. However, I got to pick up one more thing. All right. So like I said, we're just about done, but I had to come back for one more thing. I, I have to get the... The Mickey Pumpkin Blow Mold. That is awesome. They're asking um, $35 for it, but I mean, that's a that's a heck of a deal, I think. This is this is pretty cool. Of course, I'm not picking this up for me. I'm grabbing this also for um, for Danielle. She is big into Halloween. She is big into uh, to Disney. And I, I saw this and knew, I knew she was gonna want this. So I immediately sent her a photo and said, do you want me to grab this for you? And she said, yeah. So, all right, something else for uh, for Danielle. Did I grab? I guess you grabbed a couple things for me today, but it seems like everything I bought was either for Danielle or for um, for Sean. I need to start splurging on me more. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for the Toys for the Ages Expo. Pretty awesome place. We've had a lot of really cool stuff. I mean, I picked up so many Pokemon cards for, for Sean, and basically I just picked up a whole boatload of Pokemon cards for for Sean today. But I picked up some cool things for me. I found some games I, I wanna play that my son wants to play as well. I found a couple of DVDs I wanted to pick up. Clear winner today is Sean, but but Chris, oh, but, oh, but Chris, is, Chris is a, a close second with his finds. You got some amazing deals oh, today on all your oh. all your Muppets and those, that, those Song of the South, like the like little ceramic. ceramic, I was gonna say clay, cer clay ceramic, right? Anyways, little ceramic figures, those were amazing. Yeah, definitely some cool finds today all around, but um, that's gonna do it. So 
As always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also, check down below for a link to Spreadshirt, where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t shirts and proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon, do help support the show, keeps the show going, brings us out to awesome, amazing places like this. And also, check down below for a link to Song of the South stuff. I mean, I mean, soon. Muppet stuff <laughs> on Instagram. No, All right. YouTube and Facebook. You can Instagram too, but YouTube, Facebook, what used to be Twitter, uh, threads. All, all I'll, the I'll, put a, I'll put a link to one of those down below. Lottery, we'll figure out which one. Maybe. Anyway, guys, so if you watch this video all the way to the very end, I'm going to say hashtag Pokemon Winning. cards. What? Yeah. Winning? Winning. Don't do it. No, we're not, doing ha we're, not, we're not doing Charlie Sheen here. Oh, oh sorry. Hashtag Pokemon cards. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh. Hashtag Pokemon cards. Okay. Hashtag Pokemon cards. I don't know. Let's I'm 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 done. I'm going I'm going home. So again, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you in tomorrow's video. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Have a good one. Bye.